So, you took the time <laughs> this room. it's uh, the day before round two at Carson, <laughs> and the little one is uh, having a race. We're gonna race in the Cat 5. I'm gonna ride with him. So he'll be riding with adults, which will be quite interesting. First race for him. Done a bit of practice that you might have seen. Um, so he's just getting his stuff ready. He's gonna test his bike. He's cleaned it today. He's prepped it, all the chain, which is great. I've done mine. And we'll see tomorrow. The only downfall is we have to leave at 5 a.m. His race is at seven. Then my race is not until 2.05 in the afternoon. So gotta try and do something uh, to keep us occupied in the day, but it'll be a good day out. There he is. He's all kitted, ready to race. You excited for tomorrow? Yeah. Nervous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, go test ride. Go check she works. All kitted out. Good morning, guys. Oh. So it's 5 a.m. It's early. I haven't been up that early. No, I haven't been up that early for a while. Here's Varney's up. Morning, bro. You look good. You look good for 5 a.m., bro. Ready to race. You look excited. You good? You sleep yeah. well? All right. Well, time to hit the road. It's still dark outside. We're about an hour and a bit drive. And, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. See you guys later. Little one's just gone for the pre-race, you know. And the good thing is, I know where I'm going because it's the same area as the last race. So I don't have the nervousness of like trying to find where the race is. So that bit is good. Waking up slowly. Vaughn's getting his pre-race snack in. Show us what you're eating. Okay. Let's get the sun up. See you there. See you there. All right, Vaughn and Scott are heading for Vaughn's first race, so Scott can coach him. That's why he has the coaching jersey on. And we are just about to line up. We have about five minutes before it starts. You get warm. So we just finished Fon's race this morning. It was a bit chilly. He done a really good job. 30 minute race with the adults, so I was really happy with that. And he was pushing hard and he got tired, so he can rest now today. Now we're just sorting out the stuff because my race is in like five hours time. So I'm just preparing, sorting everything out, then go find something to do, get some lunch, then go racing. Excuse me, oi. Oi. Got our mask on? Check. Your oh, mask? Oh, Check. Oh, no. Oi, Mr. Ring. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> oi. We ordered some food. I got a little bit of uh, lime rice, some vegan street corn, a real cola. Oh, yes. What are they called? Plantain? Plantain chips with a side of guacamole. And then we also have vegan queso. Oh. Tortilla chips. All organic and all vegan. What do you get? Some corn? Street corn. Carbs upon carbs mm. upon carbs. That's mm. how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a Hoya? Hoya. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? Hot stuff? Moisturizing my legs. See it? It's getting super hot, no wind. Oh, I got the good number. Oh! Yeah, 45. Shout out CBR for sorting that out. Fastest lube on the market, muck off. Ludicrous. Feel the speed. <laughs> yep. Got the new skin suit. Whoa. Thank you, Pedal Mafia. That is definitely more than a few watts right there. Beep, beep. Come Super through. nice. Look at that. Look at the detail. That's sick. Ooh. 
How's it look? Looks great, baby. Good? Yeah. Look fast? Fast as ever. That's what's important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Scott's getting his shoes on, and we have Marco here joining us today. We're done a race. Yeah, our second race of the day. All right, we're out here today on a lovely Sunday supporting the future husband. Per usual. You see this? There we are. Here, Marco. Ready to race. Let's do this. Out, getting hot,
Good job. No good. How you feeling? I didn't feel great. I didn't feel great. Um, Looks like a hard one. Good. Legion were very smart. They kept pulling you guys off the front and I kept bridging it. They tied me out. Then they went, there was nothing I could really do. Then we started to close again a little bit. I was just doing so much work off the front and I tried to pull someone through. I think there was five guys ahead and all of them was in a team, so nobody wanted to lead. And you ain't gonna beat five men on your own. So one of them days, pushed hard, had a good workout. Legs were stinging. We sprinted up the hill and I thought I'd have more power here. But I was paid, so. Good job anyway. Last race. How you feeling? Yeah, I pinched bro, and I had to like take it out. I don't know if you saw me, I, I put, pulled up to the front to lead you for that fourth lap. In the fire. <laughs> Racing with Junior, man. Yeah, like right? <laughs> and then we were riding and I looked in front of me and like six, there was like six kids in front of me and I was like, oh uh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a break until too late. I mean, uh, I was like, I wonder what we were doing. Just this like, serious? Or? Did I, I asked, I asked Mike. No, it's not. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like, like seven dudes. Like, it was hard, but it was fun. Yeah, <laughs> the way it is. It sucked a little bit because, like, I knew we wasn't going to win the race. I mean, they were playing good tactics, and good that you caught it. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have kept on blowing my matches until yeah. you told me back off, and I was like, oh yeah. I could just see it. Like, I went a few <laughs> times when the break kind of was going. Just three guys that yeah. was in the team, and they was up front, and none of them would leave. But yeah, no, no, none of the other teams, they were really willing to stick. You know, the only team that had horsepower is Sharon. Yeah. The friend, the guy that was very high. But they had one up the road. They had one in oh. the break. Oh, hips cramping. <laughs> My outlet's falling off the back of my head. Oh, no. Hitching a ride with the hottie. Hitching a ride with the hubby, actually. <laughs>